Hey guys, this is Dial-Up Chronicles, and today I'm just going to do a simple video and I want to show you my dial-up setup, and we're going to check the internet today, <clears throat> just show you how that process looks. All right, and here we go. The Dial-Up Chronicles. Right, guys this is the computer I use to go on dial-up and it's just an older computer that my dad bought when I was maybe nine or ten years old in 1993 or 92 you can see it's missing the front cover the disk drive works the CD drive works and it's got a CD burner and I haven't tested that in a while but I just turned this on uh, about ten years ago I mean, it's been sitting in my my parents' closet for 20 years, and I took it out a year ago, <clears throat> and it worked. I just had to install a mouse drive, and the mouse wouldn't work. Here's the back setup. So we just got, that's the plug-in for the tower, and that's the, um, the mouse and the keyboard, the speakers, and this is the subwoofer, and two speakers on the side for the speakers. VGA monitor and then the most important thing I've got the telephone jack hooked up here to the to the the modem and it's got two slots you can see it's got another one there as well next to it and then I've got another I don't know what this is down here but you can also insert a telephone jack in there I did it by accident and then when I went on dial up it messed up my phone. I had to call the phone service to make that work again. So I don't use that one anymore. So I've got like a 50 foot telephone jack and I'm not gonna show you every single detail, but it goes under here with all these other wires of other junk that I have. And so it keeps going under behind my TV and then it comes up and I've got it routed over my door this is the front door entrance and then so it, I've got these hooks and things that go over it and then it comes back down you can see the this is the telephone wire here all right so it comes down and around these are under some front windows it goes all the way under this table where I have another subwoofer for my TV setup. And anyway, I'm gonna kind of go around here. It goes all the way back here. And then you can see the telephone wire is hooked up to a splitter because I need my phone hooked up as well. But there's the there's the splitter and that's going to the computer and this is going to my phone and then that's the wall right there. And I'm not gonna crawl under there and show you, but I'll try to just with my phone, just kind of zoom in here. That's it, that's the box and it just goes in right there. And that's been there ever since I started living in this apartment. And there's my home phone that I use and there's my voice machine. All right. So guys, I'm gonna, we're gonna move over to the back to the computer and we're gonna check my email using dial. All right, guys, we're gonna check my email now. And I thought it'd be fun just to bring you guys through the process of starting this old beast up. So I just thought it'd be fun to show you what that looks like. So we're gonna start this thing up and we're gonna check my email. And when I check my email, it's different than going online. I can either go online or check my email. I can't do both. Uh, when I go online, I'll be online, and then when I check my email when I'm online, it, uh, it doesn't work for some reason. It won't work, so I can do one or the other. Obviously, some things are wrong with this computer, so I gotta press a bunch of buttons just to get me to where I wanna go. Of that thing 
outside. Here it comes. For some reason I don't get the sound anymore though, unfortunately. My speakers are hooked up and when I play like a computer game or something, it works, but I'm not getting that beautiful startup sound. And my screens they were messed up, which happens sometimes for some reason. And PT Snoop is performing an illegal operation. And that's kind of a bummer. But we're not going to worry about any of that today. Usually I redo the screensaver to make sure it looks right, it looks presentable, but I'm just not going to worry about that companion didn't work. For some reason, I have to clean my mouse every time I use this computer. It doesn't work. So actually, let me clean this up for y'all, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, guys, we're back. Sorry, I just had to <clears throat> fix that real quick so we can see everything here on the screen, at least kind of decently. So we're not online right now. The computer's on. We're going to go to Juno, because Juno is internet service provider I'm going to check my email so we're not going to go online today we're just going to check the email type in my password and so here you can go to the World Wide Web or email but it won't let me do both so we're going to go to check the email checks the email, it makes a different uh, icon on the bottom right corner that we're going to see hopefully. Okay guys, sorry it took forever to come up. Would you like to check if you have any new mail now? Yes. <clears throat> Dialing the number. It says dialing. And it should be dialing. It says line in use. So it's trying transfer. up the email and then I can look at it but I'm not online all right stay safe online internet safety tips protect your PC safeguard your identity beware of the unknown Juno helps protect you. All right. Have fun online with uh, Juno Games Unlimited. Why run to the store? Juno Games Unlimited, you can choose from over 100 games anywhere. It's amazing. So you definitely want to use dial up email gotten three emails so far since I've had the service in uh, June of 2022. All right, that was amazing. Guys, I thought it'd be fun. Maybe we could send an email using dial-up. 
So I haven't done this in a while. So I'll send one to my wife and we'll say hello. This is dial up man from dial up man. Please make me a dial up chronicles postcard. Sincerely dial up man. All right. Let's see what happens. We're not online, so we're gonna hit send mail. Get and send mail now. Okay. Oh, it's gonna dial the number again. Well, that's interesting. Dialing, let's see. The line's in use, we should be dialing. I don't want to put it on speaker because sometimes when I do that, that messes it up. message sent. Mail transmission was successful. So it dialed in and did its thing just to send that message. And we're done. Excellent. All right. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that uh, just kind of simple quick little video showing you my setup and how I check and send emails using dial-up. Uh, I thought that'd just be a fun um, kind of easygoing video to do. But next time, plan to do something a little more, hopefully, intriguing and more in-depth like I've done, or I feel like I've done in the past. And I got this on eBay, this Internet Access CD. And it says on the back that it includes Mosaic. So the next video I make, I plan on installing this in our old trusty here and seeing what we can get to work. So look forward to that and stay tuned for the Dial-Up Chronicles.